This video is brought to you by Drager's Classics. Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse where I want to show you this uh, used, what is 2006 24-foot uh, trailer. And uh, I bought this in Sun Valley, Idaho. We were over there and I bought a 54 old two-door hardtop and I bought a 924 Porsche and then I also bought a uh, 19, 2002 BMW uh, full dresser and uh, anyway I had to get them home. Andrew drove the 54 Olds home and I had my excursion so I bought this trailer so I could get the motorcycle and the 924 Porsche home and of course I bought it to sell also so it's got the long tongue on the front here and as you can see one of the things I like is the big door I some of these trailers they don't have a very big door in them so when you go to uh, put something in on the side you can't hardly uh, get anything in there so you can see it's got a great big door on a thing uh, it was it was a as you can see it's got racing on the side it was set up to for hauling a race car and I don't know any history on this trailer I just like I say I bought it and, and uh, it's got all uh, graph some graphics on it and everything else it's been bounced around and, uh, a little bit it's not super bad we got outlets in here it's set up it's wired for the uh, uh, trailer to, to uh, you know if you got connections it's got of course the big door on here like all of them do and it comes down just fine and then this for now you can drive up on there you can see it's all painted on the inside and everything uh, it's got tie downs which is neat it's got tie downs here and tie downs here so you got lots of uh, tie down on it we got a the spare tire on here is brand new and it's even got loading lights here I, we don't have a battery in it so uh, they don't necessarily I don't know how they work or how well they work but you can see we got a 110 outlet down here and another 110 outlet here 110 light here and up forward another outlet a tray to hold things in and then it's got more uh, tie downs uh, here you got two there two here one there and one there so I was able to put the motorcycle right in this way and get it tied down and that BMW is hard to tie so I put another tie down right there to, to hook on to it uh, you can see we have this uh, electrical it says electrical and gaskets earplugs and stuff we don't have a key for it we didn't want to break it and there's there's a hundred and ten uh, set up here for wiring it's got a battery down there Andrew uh, tried to play with it a little bit the other day but we didn't didn't have much success I see we got a couple of speakers in here it has a workbench in here with this toolbox underneath here now it's solid but they had this tie down strap on here for going down the road and stuff and so I used it. I just want to make sure we were safe on there. So I want to tell you it's a decent trailer. That'll uh, it, I towed it back 650 miles back here with just fine. So I mean this thing goes up easy. You just the easier ones I had. It, it works really well. And of course this this comes around and you can see it puts a whole deal on there. I mean, it, it's they're very secure where they get them in there. Then you can put your paddle lock in there if you want. And again, this side here, you can see it's still got the graphics on there and, and everything. Um, all this looks uh, decent along here. So like I told you, I bought this in Sun Valley, Idaho, and not knowing the trailer, 
I decided I better take it into Les Schwab tire and have them, I want them to go through it and service it and make sure the, the wheels and the brakes were good. I mean, you've got to have brakes on a trailer this size. And so uh, I took it down there, and he said, the, I think it was this wheel right here, when he pulled the uh, drums off, the brake shoes fell right on out. So we had a little bit of a problem. So he went through the bearings and, and seals and, and the brakes and got it all adjusted up good and everything. And so it towed just fine. Good trailer. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's got some spots. Uh, I suppose you get in here, you could maybe get some of this cleaned off a little better if you wanted to. Uh, this is where you would plug in, to plug in your, it, you know, if you had a generator right here, that's what this is, is for plugging a generator in. So you can have your generator out there running. And again, you can see it's got the jack on it. Everything's there. You got the rock guard on the front of it. Had an antenna there for something, but I have no idea. Anyway, it'll make you a decent uh, trailer. It's great storage. I mean, you can put something in there and store it. Uh, you can, you know, you can leave your car in there if you don't have an extra garage. It'll work great. I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. Doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them, and if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.